Hello and welcome everybody, it's KB here and this is a React OS. In my opinion, this is a brilliant operating system because this is the one and only open source Windows OS. Yes, you can run Windows applications natively in this operating system. So this operating system is based on Windows NT. I haven't really used a Windows NT because I started my computer journey with Windows 7. I haven't even used a Windows XP, which is one of the most popular Windows OS ever created. If you have used a Windows XP or older Windows OSs, this operating system will look and feel very similar. After all, this is actually a Windows OS, but not made by Microsoft. This is an open source project called react os so if you want to get more info on this operating system then you can go to their official website which i will put link in the description reactos.org from here you can download the react os itself for free and learn more about this operating system in this video i'm just gonna try out this operating system but 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 i forgot <laughs> almost forgot there are some important things you need to know about this operating system before you get too excited to try this operating system out. First of all, this operating system only supports 32-bit, so you cannot install 64-bit Windows applications. And another thing, you can't install this operating system on any computer. If you have a old Windows computer which can run Windows XP 2000 version or older, then you can actually install this operating system. You just need a very old computer. But if you don't have a very old computer, but you still wanna try this operating system, then you can actually install this operating system on virtual machine softwares like VirtualBox and VMware. And I installed this operating system on a VMware virtual machine and this is what it looks like actually this is also my first time trying this operating system and I ran into a resolution problem uh, I couldn't install the display driver so I had to fix it uh, it's been around like five to six hours I have been playing with this operating system since this is just a Windows OS it's not that difficult to operate <laughs> as you know Windows is like one of the easiest operating system to use let me show you around this operating system you can see it it feels it has everything what Windows OS needs okay it is basically a Windows OS if you right click on the taskbar there is a taskbar you can open the task manager I know it looks very old but this is like you know for free and open source this is brilliant there is the traditional start menu just like we used to have in windows 7 windows 10 it looks old that's all <laughs> i'm gonna say this again and again looks old looks old because this is old this uh, operating system is still in development and i just hope that this operating system uh, will get a x64 or 64-bit support in future if that happens this operating system will become the true windows os alternative and another thing this operating system is only 134 megabyte so this is like super lightweight windows os as you know windows os's are like over 5.5 gigabyte they are huge so now again onto the react os we have the desktop where we have the my computer which will open the file explorer there we have the drives folders and whatnot okay so we have recycle bin of course <laughs> amazing but there are some uh, additional uh, applications such as application manager which is uh, a package manager or you can say a store where you can download windows applications so you can see there is a 7-zip for archive files adobe reader aim player and much more there are so many things okay you can also go by the category uh, audio winamp very popular ah, okay <laughs> this also supports spotify I don't know I don't use Spotify but Spotify is a new thing right it wasn't available back in 2000 <laughs> back in uh, Windows XP era oh look at that VLC player I'm just gonna install it so I can 
you know test it out actually we're gonna install this from a official website i have actually installed some uh, applications uh, one is firefox you can see it's running flawlessly wow and i have installed a chrome too but sadly it does not work uh, it gives me this error uh, fail to load extension so there is some extension that cannot be loaded so maybe if i reinstall this it will work so now let's try to install some programs from the internet okay first we will see well this sucks the firefox cannot load this website so i'm gonna download the another web browser and let's see what we have here uh, i'm just gonna download i don't know opera let's see if this fixes the uh you know site load problem opera is based on uh you know chromium so maybe i can load websites faster i'm just gonna download it from package manager okay yeah opera can load the websites because it is based on <laughs> chrome so yeah now let's download the vlc and hopefully it will automatically download the 32-bit version of VLC because this operating system as I said does not support 64-bit so I'm gonna save it I'm gonna save it to downloads all right and you can see this is win32 so yeah it's downloading a 32-bit version of uh, uh, what do you call it VLC that I'm gonna go to my computer actually documents downloads and there we have the vlc i'm gonna install it so yeah <laughs> everything is native here all applications settings and whatnot unlike uh, linux you can also run windows applications in linux but it's a compatibility layer in linux it's not a native so this react os's future is looking very bright if they can uh, make it modern and uh, if they can add a x64 support and the new computers uefi bios and whatnot so if that happens i mean this is going to become the best alternative for windows so we downloaded the vlc okay i'm gonna open it continue yay <laughs> we have the latest vlc running in this you can actually download any any windows programs as long as they are 32 bit as of now now let's go to the control panels yeah this is what it looks like okay uh, we have everything i'm gonna actually go to add and remove program because i want to uninstall the chrome because it's not working okay it opens the application manager which is uh, I did a new okay installed I'm gonna go there applications and as you can see these are the applications I have installed for some reason the Google Chrome is not here Wow okay uh, I'm gonna right click on the Google Chrome and I'm gonna go to the compatibility run this program as old very old NT I'm gonna run this as a you know Windows NT 4.0 okay maybe this time i will be able to use this okay i'm opening this uh, looks like if i close this if i close this yep same uh, problem <laughs> let's change uh, some screen settings uh, actually i'm gonna use the new wallpaper okay <laughs> uh, actually it looks very cool uh, this is a new uh, wallpaper but there is something even better that is bliss wallpaper this is a very iconic uh, windows xp wallpaper very iconic <laughs> even though i never used a windows xp uh, you know everybody knows okay even the newborn baby knows that this is very iconic okay <laughs> i don't know if it's the exact same image but looks like it is because you know i don't know okay <laughs> and i may have to do some google search there is another cloud tree awesome i like cloud trees never seen those before so i think that's that's it um this one is looking very good so i'm just gonna uh, keep it here so that's it 
I think I don't need to talk too much about this operating system. As I said, if you want to get more info, you can go to their official website, which I will put link in the description. You can learn everything you need to know about this operating system from their website. And uh, yeah, basically this is a Windows operating system, but not made by Microsoft and it's still in development. As of now, this only supports Win32 bit and very old computers. So yeah. Uh, if in future if we get a new update with this 64 bit support then i will definitely uh, make a update video for this for now that's it hope you enjoyed it i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye